blue skies smiling at me nothing but blue skies do i see blue birds singing a song nothing but blue birds all day long hi guys i said in 2018 it was one of the strangest springs i'd ever seen and then 2020 beat it by a long shot but 2020 wasn't just about the birds, it was about the whole world. <laughs> Don't you guys look good, huh? It's now spring 2021 and things are nowhere near normal and nobody knows for sure where this is all going to go. So today is National Ravens Day and let's see if we can help things a bit by learning to spread something a little different. For fun, let's call it spreading Corvid 21. I'm basing this on the fact that ravens, no matter what the conditions, will work together and get through whatever it is they need to do. And they do it in a fairly calm manner. Whether it's building a home, feeding the kids, protecting the territory, they work together for each other and for their family. That's what we people need to get back doing. For in my view, we are all family and we need to figure out ways to help and encourage each other. I know on the surface it's tough, especially in today's almost Civil War-like attitudes on information and news. But to me, there's something far more important that we should be considering, and that is the well-being of each other. So I'm suggesting a ceasefire, and instead of following each and every news feed down the rabbit hole to frustration, run away. Get back out in the wild. Even if it's just to escape to a park, preferably one where there's lots of wildlife, and just sit and enjoy the natural world. Then go and share your love for it with others. Let me show you how my Corvids helped me get through COVID. In California, travel was pretty much halted, so during last year's lockdown, I could only go a few miles. Hey there, little one. Hi. So I made the best of it by spreading my spring report into a six-part series, starting with Baby Ravens Grow So Fast. And then there were five Baby Raven Fly videos that included their first day, a lesson in death, venturing out, beginning to talk, and then talking and rocking. As California finally loosened travel restrictions beginning early 2021, we were able to travel, but we were still asked to keep it within 120 miles of home. But even with these limited adventures, I soon learned that I was not alone and met many others who had found some peace through their relationships in nature. And for many, this piece was specifically attributed to their relationship with birds. And for some, it was even the ravens in particular. And that it was a Corvid fix, let's call it, that helped them get through these tough, and for many, some very lonely times. Inside our 120 mile radius, I of course have my home where Huey passes every now and then. Hey bud, playing with the crows. But it's pretty inconsistent and I can go for weeks without seeing him. I can also see and hear them in the back bay behind my house at times. So Crystal Cove is still my go-to for my much needed Corvid fix. Yeah, Ravens don't care about Covid. Dolphins certainly don't care about COVID. Not a care in the world, huh? Fortunately, I have one very famous national park that is host to many ravens, and that is the Joshua Tree. In February, we left early in the morning for a day trip and took both a picnic breakfast and a picnic lunch so we could spend most of the day in the park. Of course, we got some great nature time and were witness to numerous raven shows.
On the way home, we stopped at the Cabazon Dinosaur Park and even the Cabazon shopping outlets provided many more raven shows. In March, we went to the 123 farm in Beaumont to the sheep shearing event. Some of you may remember our restaurant was called the Black Sheep Bistro, but it was great fun watching the kids watching the sheep get sheared. We also watched the dogs round up the sheep and enjoyed lunch, and because there were ravens all over this area, we saw numerous raven chases and aerial displays all day long. Then I heard of a gal, Eve, a professional singer, who lives out in the same region. And she told me she likes to sing to the ravens. I had to see this. So another trip back out there in the desert to a raven haven and meet her and get her story. She shared that it was the lockdowns of March 2020 that pretty much got her out into walking the parks. By feeding the ducks, both the ravens and the herons became curious about what she was doing. In time, and this is kind of unique, she started bringing water bowl, and the ravens would meet her at her car. They followed her and lined up, and she started singing to them. One of her favorite pieces was Blue Skies. Blue skies smiling at me, nothing but blue skies do I see. Bluebirds singing a song, nothing but bluebirds all day long. Never saw the sun shining so bright, never saw things going so right. Noticing the days hurrying by, when you're in love, oh how they fly. Blue songs, all of them gone, nothing but new songs all day long. After our raven show, we went to breakfast, where she told us that it was her fascination and relationship with the birds that led to many human relationships. She shared how just being able to be out, spending quality time with the birds in this beautiful nature environment helped her as she was also able to develop unique relationships with other people who also enjoy the park. She made it clear it was her relationship with the birds and the uniqueness of the ravens in particular that helped to bring her a sense of wonder and joy during these very uncertain times. Hi there. Unfortunately for most professional singers like Eve, there was no work during COVID, and yet it was the problems of COVID that brought us together. And so I got to meet and spend time with another fascinating person whose very life is very much like a storybook. Speaking of storybooks, I also learned we both enjoyed spending time at Disneyland in Anaheim way back in the early 70s. I was experiencing the park, and she was singing and entertaining. Here's a picture of her singing Sugar Sugar at the Carnation Center with Kurt Russell. Now look at that. Watch the video on YouTube, and Eve is the dark-haired singer on the right. What fun. Here's the link on YouTube. Look for it in the video description. Just know that Eve is one of many who shared with me how much their relationship with the birds helped them get through some very uncertain times. And as time goes on, we soon learn that by sharing these experiences, many times we become more aware of unique experiences in other people. In sharing her newfound passion, Eve learned of a one-of-a-kind being in the right place at the right time experience from someone she already knew. Corey, the GM at Catalan Restaurant where she likes to dine, 
beamed with joy as he showed us his experience with a young raven who flew into the backyard where he was at. This wild raven sat on his arm and then did some pretty wild stuff that even surprised me. I don't have the video yet, but I'm trying to get a copy and maybe one day in the future I can show it to you. Or perhaps Corey will post it himself and then I'll be sure and share a link. Hey, good morning. Come on. Oh, you are Shaw? You're not an owl. That's the noise he makes when he's unsure. Last year, in my Ravens in Winter video, and then the two follow-ups, Celebrity Ravens, you saw my experiences with Jade and Cronk at the Ogden Nature Center, and also Helen, Jackie, and Cash at the Tracy Aviary in Salt Lake, where, in my book, I had an over-the-top experiences with both the Ravens and, more importantly to me, the humans that worked with them, and especially Jade. And I think our connection could be best labeled as otherworldly, for we share a connection to the Ravens that can't be explained very well. It's very special. And although few people in the world enjoy the Ravens more than I do, for me, it's being able to share and express the wonder and joy with the Jades, Eves, and Corys of this world. That's what makes life truly amazing. One other thing, if you've spent much time on my channel, you may have picked up that my Ravens are totally wild, and in the wild, Ravens are what I'd call brazenly cautious. They have to be to survive. There's respect for animals bigger and stronger than themselves, and yet they know how and when to work with animals like wolves and bears. But they also know when to give these predators space. We need to do the same thing out there. Be respectful of one another, but let's try to be brazenly cautious, sharing your love and passions bravely, yet with courtesy and caution for each other's space and personal views. I wonder what would happen if each and every one of us just got out there to experience the wonders of nature and then took the time to share our unique experiences with others. I wonder what would happen. Oh, and while we're here, here's my first babies of spring 2021. A week later, I see there's at least four. I'll give you more on this later. So, happy National Raven Day. Get out there, say hello to a raven, and spread a little corvid in 21. Thanks for watching. Blue skies smiling at me, nothing but blue skies do I see. Blue.